Now this training video is a continuation on from the previous one about versioning because here, once you have all those different versions, wouldn't it be nice to go ahead and compare two of them? For example, as you recall in the previous training video, we have the co-author SharePoint document that when I hover over it, I get the drop down arrow that I can click on and take a look at all the different versions by clicking on version history. And I have a total of four, including the original. What I want to show you is how you can compare one version like the original to let's say the latest one where you can go ahead and accept and reject any changes between the two and be able to save that document to your desktop and then if you want you can upload it back to the SharePoint server. Let's go ahead and close out and to go ahead and to compare the versions the first thing I need to do is to check out the document here because as you recall in the previous training video I set up the requirements that in order to make changes like tracking the changes between the two documents and accepting and rejecting I need to go ahead and check out the document first. Let's go ahead and check it out, click OK and then I can go ahead and click on it to open up the document. Once it's opened, if you watch my combine and compare training video, it's pretty much the same in that just come up here, click on the review tab, go to the compare group, click on the compare drop down arrow, and there's the two basics, compare and combine, which is just dealing with documents on your computer, not on the server, but up here is what's connected to the SharePoint server, the versions. So I can go ahead and take the latest document that I have here and compare it to like a major version or a specific version, not the last version because it would be comparing it against itself. So let's do a specific version and let's do it to the original here, okay? Go ahead and select it, click compare, give it a second. It opens up and there we go. We have our two windows over here where we have the original version and then the latest and then the differences over here between the two. And you've got the title bar with the generic title. So after I go through and accept or reject these changes, I can then go ahead and save it to my desktop. Now notice down below how I have a flashing uh, document here. Let me go ahead and click on it. It opens up and it tells me of the uh, original version, version 1, and you can see right there that, hey, there's a newer version available. Well, of course there is 2.2, and I'm in the process of comparing it. So I can go ahead and close out of here and just ignore that one, okay, and go back to my uh, compare results 1 document here and then just as we learned in the accept and reject changes training video come up here on the review tab to the changes group and go ahead and click next to the first change and say well I'm going to reject that gets rid of it go to the next one I can accept it if I do well it keeps the word changes go to the next uh, change and go ahead and reject that and then it says do you want to start over I can say yes it didn't find anything else so that's what I'm left with if I like what I see when I click save it's going to save it to my computer not to the SharePoint server, so come up here, click Save. There's my desktop. I can go ahead and say this is my final doc. So I can keep it separate from the SharePoint server and just say this is what I'm looking forward to seeing when everything's done or finished. Click Save, and then I can go ahead and close out, go ahead and close out, and then minimize this down to the taskbar, and you can see that it was saved to my desktop. So I can go ahead and double-click to open it up, and you can see it doesn't have the refresh button here so it's not tied to the server and then anything additional that I need to make changes to like let's go to the review tab and click on next change here and let's go ahead and reject that change and then go ahead and click OK and then click Save. Close out. It didn't update anything on the server that way we can keep those versions protected and then if I want to I of course can go ahead and restore my uh, SharePoint site back open and then if I wanted to scroll down add that document to the SharePoint site and then call it my final document separate from the original document here that contained all those different versions thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video